Hello and welcome to my channel. If you want your report to stand out and impress end users, then you need to have well-designed homepage. First impression is the most important and therefore good-looking homepage will definitely help you to achieve this goal. In this short video, I will show you some designing tricks and how you can create good-looking homepage. And now let's head over to Power BI Desktop. And here we are in Power BI Desktop. However, for creating a good looking homepage, we will need to use PowerPoint. So let's head over to PowerPoint. Okay, here we have blank slide. And first thing that we are going to do is we are going to insert image that we want to use for our homepage. And for this purpose, I found on the internet a plain image. There it is. And let me insert. So now I have this image. And let's click on blank canvas and first thing what we are going to do is to create background now right click on blank canvas and select format background on the right side select gradient fill and here in gradient stops we have two arrows now let's choose two colors we want to have in our background so uh, i prefer using one a lighter and one darker color and let's just click on this arrow and here under color we will use eyedropper and from this image let's select one a lighter color light blue here it is and for darker select again second arrow go to color eyedropper and select one darker color from the okay now when we have these two colors let me just move this arrow a little bit and now what we are going to do we will set direction to go from lower left corner to top right corner like this okay now let's remove this image And now we have gradient background that we will use for our home page. And next thing, what we are going to do, we need to insert some shapes. Now, let's go to insert, click on insert, select shapes, and now choose shape you want. I mean, you can choose any shape, but I will use this one. And just drag and drop to create a shape. Rotate it. And now we need just to set positions of these shapes. Let me copy them, control C, control V. And this is the order of shapes. Uh, let me just move them a little bit. And the next thing what we are going to do is to group these shapes. Now let's select them all. Okay, I didn't manage, therefore I will use the roll button control and all. Right click on it, group. Okay. Now we are going to set the no line and we will choose for fill picture or texture. Okay, and it recognized picture we want to use but you can choose any other picture and you can of course move position of this picture so let me increase this a bit move it and move it to top a little bit. Okay. Now we are done. Next thing what we are going to do is we will go to file. Save as. Browse. Choose file location. Name. Image as you want. And save as. Choose under type JPG. save it select just this one now let's go to power bi desktop 
now we need to apply this image to our canvas background go to format pane select canvas background browse this is our image change transparency to zero here it is next thing what we are going to do is to add buttons let's go to insert tab click on buttons and select blank button now let's format it go to format pane and select button style now we will need text we do not we do not need icon we will need fill and we do not want border so let's set up one by one first let's set up shape make corners rounded let's set seven text text will be name of our first page and that is lights font size let's change it to 18 make it bigger and set it to bold okay let's go next for fill let's choose white color as a background and let's reduce transparency to 15 if you want to have clear white then set it to zero and i forgot one thing and that is to change font color to blue as blue is color of our team so we have fill transparency border shadow we do not need you can set that if you want now let's format on hover state so change state to on hover let's increase rounded corners so we can see change of the shape when we hover over the button like this you see corners have been changed now let's change font color to white because we will set background to blue and this will be effect when you hover color will be changed anything else nothing that's fine let's change size let's put height to to 60 and width to 3 310 okay looks good and now let's add an icon to this button go again to insert and choose from image and i have it here i downloaded this icon from flaticon website i will leave link in description now let's put it into button and reduce size of it okay looks good and this is it our first button is done now let's create other buttons for other pages Control c Control v and let's repeat that three times because uh, let's assume that we will have three pages this is the second one third one and that's it next thing what we need to do is to rename text for these buttons go to button style it's important to change settings state to default and then change text okay this is for the first button we need second button change text to departures okay looks good and let's change for third button state is default text will be airports and last thing and most important is to set action for each button so set action to on type choose page navigation and set destination page at this moment i do not have uh, any page ex except this one and therefore i do not see it but once you create other pages you will have them here in this drop down menu 
and that's it how you can create a good looking home page for your power bi report with just few simple design tricks that can make your report really stands out and impress end users i hope you found this video helpful if that's the case then please like and subscribe and we will see in my next video bye